everyone for today's project i have a very very difficult project because i will try to make a fitter ring something like that it looks easy but it's not easy it's a horrible difficult project uh, the main idea was to create a segments like this kick it kick it segments where where is the first upper board is on laying on the second board of wengewood uh, but as you see here I had to cut it off this part and uh, send this because because when I stuck everything together the ring starts spinning like a spring and going to the top uh, to the up and it didn't work so I had to cut it off send this and that's why I have to almost twice smaller ring <laughs> but it will be use useful for this project main project of course uh, i have two boards of the same wood same wood it's a bush some type of wood bush it's a white wood and prepared a few boards of wenge wood and i hope it this time it will work at first i will cut off the rings the segments with uh, 37 millimeters outer outer uh, length uh, hope it will be good because the board it's not too thick and ho i hope i will have enough wood because when i will have a, uh, one ring i will try to cut it on the angle from this side going to the center and closer to this side uh, maybe 22 and a half maybe 25 degrees i will see how i what angle i will be able to set up and how to make it on the bane zone table so i don't know uh, table so didn't work <laughs> i made um, some mistakes i suppose uh, and then i will put uh, this wenge wood between the segments and some part will be uh, out of the segment then i will put another one another one another one so i will lost some of the thickness of this board from both sides maybe two three millimeters from each side uh, so i have a wider wider wenge wood to not waste the wood on because of wenge wood so i'm going to the table so keep fingers crossed and I hope it will work this time because I still don't know how to make it. okay guys i have 18 segments like that but unfortunately it not works i have made a something that, that a sculpture <laughs> uh, and trying to find the angles will will it work and it not works with the first two segments it it is almost invisible the squeezing the rotating of the segment but on the third it's visible very good i don't know will you see this something like that in this place is higher than the corner so it will be it will be spinning the making a spring from the uh, from the segments and i don't want it i was trying to figure out something from it and it was really really hard to make it so i decided to prepare the i streamed the boards a bit wenge wood and i will just put the 
I will put the boards with the same size of the uh, of the cut inside with the same angles and I will just glue them together I think maybe some spacers I will create and now it's the best fun uh, the table saw is set on 20 degrees I have my old wedgie sled I could trim cut it them on the same angle and the main idea the main fun is with the board how to cut the boards uh, with the same angle from both sides and not mess it up uh, and I was testing on the normal boards or something scrap wood and the first cut must be here just cut it off the corner then I will put on this side push to the uh, to the distancer and then I will cut off the first piece the first segment then I will back to this side and cut off the end of the of the board again not whole piece only cut off to get this angle with this angle <laughs> two angles in one angle and back and here I will be cutting segments here I will be straightening this up so let's start it and find out how it will be working I hope it will be good it's a, a bit wider than my board uh, than my segments because if I will make uh, some uh, some uh, bad measurements with uh, the length of the outer side of the segment I always can move it forward backward and fit to the main size of the segment so it will be much easier so let's start it take the glasses Okay, the ring is ready for gluing. I will not figure out nothing more. So let it stay. Everything will be with an one angle. I spent a lot of time to make it, but it didn't work. I could make it much easier. So let's glue it, let it dry. And I will start thinking on the, on the rest of the vessel. Okay, it's time to build building further. I have prepared uh, four apple wood boards. Those are straighted up on the drum center. And I have two boards of the same wood. This is the same tree. I made this board my own. And this will be for a base, of course, segmented base, if it will be possible. And I will cut everything on 18 segments as everything was. So Let's start it. Okay, here I have a base for my vessel. Now I will drill the hole in the center because the center always is, usually is ugly. And I will make a plug from this piece of apple. It has nice texture. So I will insert this here. So at first I need to drill the holes. 40 millimeters hole, I think it will be enough for it. So let's start it.
Okay, and the plug is ready to glue it in to the base. It fits very good, not too tight. Pretty good and will be easy to, maybe not so easy, but it will be good to insert this inside. Okay, rings are drying, so in meantime I have prepared uh, boards, here I have a apple wood and the white wood, the same as I made the rings, I have four boards for 18 segments and I will place it this uh, here, here maybe you will see this, it will be a apple wood, here will be a uh, inlay of uh, white white wood strap of white wood around the bowl and here will be the bottom and from the second side I have a white wood the same white wood and the wenge wood and it will be looking like that it will be cutting off the uh, of the fitter ring from the rest of the of the top of the way of the vessel I have this much more so if it will left I will use it this further in on the top of the bowl but at first I have to make a 18 segments And here I have a four rings ready for straightening, for cleaning. I will clean it up this on the outside, inside only, and prepare for next gluings to glue up the uh, one ring and the fitter ring on it. And I hope it will be working very nice. So let's start it.
Okay, time to clean it up outside, inside of the vessel. Now I can give a main shape a bit. Those, this one and this one rings are thin. Uh, they are having maybe 13 millimeters of width. So it's, it's not too much. So I have to be very careful and using not too much power uh, while while cutting and then i will glue this ring but at first i need to clean it up on the drum center i will glue this ring on it it's a bit wider because later i will try to glue i will glue this ring of beech wood but maybe i will have an idea with this uh, ring we will see at first I will clean it up and I will start thinking what to do with it next. Okay, the base is hollow it, I will send this inside because when I will glue the rest of the rings I will not have possibility to send this, so I will send this and finish it right now and glue the next ring 